Hello everyone. Time to call you know who. Her. Hello. Is this Miracle Mom? Oh yeah, this is Miracle Mom. Are you are you ready? Are you ready to go on? Because you're on. <laughs> All right, good. I was just trying to figure out how to get Uncle John out of the picture, but he's just oh. gonna—he's just gonna have to be in the picture. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. I mean, I don't mind if you don't mind. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Does he <laughs> mind? <laughs> We—you got to send me his contact information. Oh yeah, I still haven't done that. And and John's—he's a beautiful Christian too, so you know. Well, I remember having a great time with uh, Tammy. Oh, the family reunion. Yeah, I, yeah. I, probably, sh I probably shouldn't list everybody's names. <laughs> Get their permission first. Oh, uh, I'm sure he wouldn't, he wouldn't care. But I will send you his contact information. Great. Thank you. Hello, everyone. He, he, he doesn't have um, internet. He's not on the internet, but his wife is. Okay. So I'll just... I'll send you his phone number. Perfect. Great. All right. Okay. Well, here we are. Um, I have so much going on, but I have not. I literally just remembered 10 minutes ago that uh, I didn't call you yesterday and we didn't do our episode yet. <laughs> oh. Well, I just always chalk it up to your plate. It's too full. So, it's full and know, getting fuller. Yeah, I, I don't get upset anymore. You know, if you don't call me, I don't wonder and worry. And I just figure you either will or you won't. So here you are. Well, I noticed <laughs> you, you, you use the phrase anymore. You don't get upset anymore. Mm. Oh, well, maybe early on, maybe I was getting upset if you didn't show. <laughs> All right. Just to figure a speech. Well, I have really good news for you oh. and for the channel, for everybody who's watching. Great. Um, so, as of well, it was like two days ago, I think, uh, the channel was about 120, it was 124 hours short of the total necessary to qualify f for monetization. Yeah, I saw that you announced that. And I just challenged the viewers uh, on Sweet Home Maricopa. I said, go watch this video. And it was our last week's episode because it was almost a half an hour. I'm like, if I got 250 people to watch that one episode, we would reach the goal. And it happened. And this morning I checked and we had crossed the threshold. You need 400, you need 4,000 hours. And it was at 404. And so awesome. I so I clicked on the necessary buttons to begin the monetization process. Basically, it's under review. This channel is under review, and if it gets approved for monetization, then every one of you, every video that's watched will start this accumulation uh, of compensation. Um, I guess I have, awesome. to, I have to draw up a contract. How much do I get? Right, I have to draw up a contract <laughs> for you. <laughs> we should have negotiated this. Should have negotiated this ahead of time. <laughs> What's my cut? <laughs> uh, your mom. You you should probably get it all. <laughs> no, you know I'm joking. Well, if you need anything, let me know. <laughs> okay, if desperation shows up. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll contact you. Here's another thought I'm have I've had, and I'm maybe this is for you viewers to comment in the comment section. Um, Mom and I will discuss it here uh, in a second. But uh, you commenters, here's my thought. Let me know what you think in the comment section, or let us know what you think in the comment section. Uh, this channel started out. It actually started out as just the default. YouTube channel for one of my email addresses. I would I, I'm not gonna 
give the name of that email address, but that was this, this was the default channel. Then when I started our channel, Miracle Mom and Michael, you can change the name of your channel. So I named this channel Miracle Mom and Michael. And that was our original, my very first YouTube right. channel. And all of those videos yeah. are still there. So if any of you uh, can't get enough of mom, go back, go to the channel and click on videos and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find lots and lots and lots of videos of mom and I having conversations just like this. Yes, um, many. yes. so that was my first foray into YouTubing. And then a year ago, uh, actually September 27th, Azerbaijan invaded Artsakh. Uh, it's a, oh. the uh, unincorporated, it's a, for those that are new to this channel, I need to explain briefly. So Armenia is this tiny little nation over that's wedged in between Turkey and Azerbaijan. These and they're they're enemies. They're mortal enemies. Essentially, Turkey and Azerbaijan have their intent is to eliminate Armenia. It has been for right. a long time. And they took another stab at it September 27th of last year. There's a region that's Google Maps will say it's in Azerbaijan, but it's been Armenian territory for thousands of years. Azerbaijan came into existence in 1918 when Stalin basically uh, draw, drew up the lines. It's like, let's call this Azerbaijan, and it came into existence, whereas Armenia had been around forever. So uh, Azerbaijan has grown in wealth because they struck oil in the Caspian Sea, and they're military, and they're, they're a milita militaristic nation, and they're close allies. I call them the lapdog of Turkey because they're ethnically the same. They have all the same goals. One of those goals is to eliminate that tiny little Christian nation, uh, uh, Armenia. And Artsakh is a territory that Google Maps will say is in Azerbaijan, but as I just said, it's an Armenian territory. Um, well, in summary, Turkey wants to do to the Christian Armenians what Hitler did to the Jews. Well, precisely. That's the deal. Well, yeah. Mr. H, I'll call him Mr. H. I, I don't know no. how the algorithm, Mr. since we're H. now under monetization, um, it's going to, I don't know. Um, I don't know what what words get flagged. Um, this video could get demonetized because of that word. I don't know. But essentially, Mr. Yeah. H from, from, that, from Germany actually took his inspiration from what Turkey had done during World War I. Exactly. You, can, you can go to my other channel, Tales of Truth, and find out all the history on that. But I'm, I'm saying all this, beating around the bush. So this channel used to be called Miracle Mom and Michael, but when Azerbaijan invaded Artsakh in September of 2020, on September 27th, and it was a 44-day war where Artsakh had to cede territory, Russia had to step in to stop the massacre. The Armenians were right. ill-equipped to defend against the high tech that Azerbaijan had... Uh, accumulated basically and it was the most high-tech war that's ever happened the most high-tech uh ground forces battle that has ever taken place in fact military historians are studying it today because if 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 uh if a conflict between two major armies happens again or even small armies that are uh equipped they're going to learn from what azerbaijan did Anyway, so I changed the name of this channel to Sovereign Artsakh because that territory should become recognized by the world. It should be an independent... It, it doesn't need to be incorporated into Armenia. It can be its own nation. It's functioned as its own own nation all this time. So I changed the, ch name, the channel name from Miracle Mom and Michael to Sovereign Artsakh because I was reporting on that. In fact, that's where a lot of the viewing hours for this channel have accumulated probably half and half of the view, viewing hours for this channel came from that reporting and the other half from uh, when I restarted uh, just talking about, well, more recently. Um, so here's what I'm thinking of doing. So comment in the com comment section. Changing the name of this channel yet again to <laughs> The First Christian Nation. Okay. Because that will keep 
that will be in keeping with the theme uh, of... So my... I started Tales of Truth to focus on the history of the Armenian genocide, the Christian Holocaust, Tales right. of Truth. But that, but that's that's a secular channel. It's just historians talking about actual history, the facts of history. Whereas, you know, my historians aren't Christian, and I start talking about Christian stuff. It's gonna it's gonna alienate a lot of those people that have been interviewed on that channel and people that would gravitate. I want that channel to remain a crossover channel where anybody can watch it and get informed. You get a college history education by watching that channel. But this channel, I need to talk openly about my faith and how God has brought me to that project and all of the implications and the miracles that have been happening happening as a result of my focus, my, my focus on the Armenian genocide. So this channel has to remain uh, Armenian genocide focused, but it, it the thing that really was a, a pivot point in my life was when I met with this potential investor that said the words first Christian nation in reference to Armenia. He goes, I don't know, but my I've been told that Armenia was the first Christian nation. And I'm like, I've been a Christian for 30 plus years and I've never even considered the idea of a first Christian nation. Yet, since 300 AD, Armenia has laid claim to that distinction that they are the first corporate body of people to convert, to decide that we're going to live by the principles of Jesus. So, I'm considering changing the name of this channel to First Christian Nation and putting a an original map of Armenia as you know, in the banner and stuff like that, just kind of rebranding it. Um, but, you so, know. So, this is, <laughs> this is my understanding. All of your followers who really want to come just to hear mom <laughs> say stupid stuff <laughs> and laugh, this is where they come now? No. First Christian Nation? No. It, it, yes, it will be First Christian Nation, but Miracle Mom and Michael will be one playlist on this channel. If, okay. Especially if it, if I get approved for monetization, I'm going to want to spend more time here talking about, uh, talking about the subject matter, talking about Armenia, what's going on there now, what's going on there today, how it's pertinent, you know, how it's pertinent to the Christianity, how it's pertinent to geopolitics, etc., um, okay. And so Miracle Mom and Michael will be a featured playlist on on the first Christian nation. Okay. Does that make oh, sense? All right. Yeah. I think I have it. <laughs> all right. That's my thought process anyway. Okay. All right. I will try to remember. <laughs> well, you could disagree. I don't know if I don't know if I'm giving you veto power, but if you disagree. <laughs> It's your channel, not mine. Oh, okay, there you go. You all heard that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking of starting my own channel. <laughs> really? Oh, well, not not seriously. But the thought pops in every now and then. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean... Anyway, I wouldn't even know how to do it, so there's no worry there. Are you kidding? I'm your son. I have seven YouTube channels. <laughs> well, I know, but... I don't think it's probably not my forte. You know what I'm saying? Writing is my forte, and I stick to that. Well, here's an idea, <laughs> right? Maybe to uh, to capitalize on your forte. What if you write one-page stories and read them? Right, oh, not you know, like on Miracle Mom and Michael. You could do it here, absolutely, or on your own oh. channel. Like, I, you, it could be Mom's thoughts of the day or of the week or whatever. If you do that, we'll make it a. Well, that would be an interesting approach. So I could do that. instead of starting your own channel, test it out, um, and we'll schedule okay. it. We'll schedule it. Like, just you like writing. You, it, you, it is definitely one of your strengths, and I'm certain it's where I get my abilities you know certainly uh genetically and okay. uh, but let's do that i like that idea so just uh write make them as long as you want you know it could be a page you know because 
think of reading it if it's a if it's single spaced and it's one page it's going to be it's going to be two to five minutes of of content but if yeah. you want shorter thoughts it could be a couple paragraphs you know to do shorter videos right. just just i'll leave it up to you to program it for yourself like you figure it out okay. and then i've got all kinds of things that i can write about great that would really be fun all right. And I, I guess if you would want me to, I can let you know what my topic is Perfect. before you call. Well, you could you, you could forward them to me and I'll read them or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Sounds boy. Good. Am I giving you carte okay. blanche? Am I giving you carte blanche? <laughs> it's your channel. People love you, Mom, by the way. People, like, in the comment section. I'm, sh I'm sure you look in the comment section, but you're, uh, you are. Well, I'm a mom. People relate to their moms. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. It is. For most people. One of the commenters, I think just the last couple of days, uh, commented that they think of their mom who's passed away. They think of, the, they just, it takes them back to their, uh, when their mother was alive and they, they would call and just talk to mom on the phone. So you're right. It's it, people, <laughs> people identify, you know, most of us have moms. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. just, I'm just grateful that I have the mom that I have. <laughs> well, I'm grateful I have the children I have. <laughs> so it works both ways, <laughs> you know. Do you yeah. think do you think we're boring no. the audience right now? Well, I don't really care if we're boring <laughs> the audience. <laughs> well, that wasn't a boring response, so okay, you... <laughs> we're, we're talking to each other. <laughs> Amen. Nobody would be here if it wasn't for a mom, right? <laughs> right. Amen. I'm just going to check the time on this. I have I have a oh. Okay. It's fine. Um, I just, it's like I was about to make three phone calls and run to two different, you know, errands. And I'm like, no, I got to gotta stop down right now and call mom and talk to mom. Well, I'm glad you called. It's always good to hear from you. And I really enjoy, you know, reading comments and following along and keeps my day going. <laughs> so I'm proud of you. Thank you. It's just, it's like, it's a little bit nerve wracking um, with the subject matter I cover in Sweet Home Maricopa with how YouTube is just so, I mean, they are a private company and they can do what they want and they can come to their oh, own yeah. conclusions and they, and it's just like, but it's like, I just want to report what's going on. And so it's like, uh, I'm treading on. Th I feel like I'm constantly treading on thin ice, and it's the and it's the monetization carrot, right? It's like, oh, yeah, right. you know, I have people in the comment section saying, "Just say what's going on." I'm like, if you want to listen to me on YouTube, I can't, right? It's just like this catch twenty two. Right. Just say it. Just say it. I'm like all these other That's patriots, right. all these other patriots who've been deleted, they just spoke their minds, and I'm like, yeah, and they're gone. <laughs> exactly. It's like you yeah. if you, so. It's, maybe it's just trolls trying to bait me, but I don't. I don't care. It's like, but I do. You know, I, I'm I, my second check from Google is supposed to hit in like five days, and it's twice as big as the first one. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. You know. Good. Anyway. Well, maybe I'll get desperate and have to call you. <laughs> <laughs> well. No, I'm just teasing. It's it's a, uh, it's I got bills stacked up, so it's like it's already spent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Also, yeah. well, I'm going to I'm going to drop this hint here. I'm not I can't really go into detail, but there's just a just potential incredibly good stuff happening behind the scenes, right? Like good. Like okay. just in the past day, you know, just stuff that's popped up. Again, I'm biting my tongue. But it's like, man. Well, like you saying, God is in control. Yes, God is in control, and there's an, I there's an expression, um, too good to be true, right? Okay. Th that that yeah. you've heard that, right? It's an expression, and I don't really ascribe to it because, you know, like in this Armenian genocide project I've been working on, it's like, too good to be cr true. How could I have fallen into the perfect spot? to get the rights to the most incredible story I've ever heard, right? And it's like, 
too good to be true. But no, it is true. It actually happened. And it's like, I just look at all that God's timing. And so I've, I've, instead of the too good to be true expression, I go with divine providence, right? God's perfect timing. Well, <laughs> that, that explains that you did not fall into it. Right. It was already going to happen. And I just right. happened to be the one that gets to see it right up close and personal. It's like, Oh, I get to be a part of this. Thank you, Lord. So that's, yeah, that's exactly. literally like the paradigm shift in my life. It's like, Oh, 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 all these things are meant and preordained. And it's just a matter of me paying very close attention and realizing my role, right? I have a role to play. And you know, when your hand, when your heart is in God's hands, it's like this synchronicity or this, this you're in lockstep with the Lord's will. That's how it feels. So it's like, it feels yeah. like, feels like coincidence okay. happened. Oh, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. It's like, no, it's not a coincidence. It's a pattern, a pattern that you're recognizing that God There's is. no such thing as coincidence. Right. And that my, I've said this probably many times, but it's coincidence is just a word that's made up to explain the inexplicable. Right. It's like, uh, right. it's. It's a word. It's a word designed by the world. Yep. To to kind of take God out of the conversation, like there is exactly. sovereignty. Something's happening. Well, no, let's call it a coincidence. Give God any credit for anything? Yeah. You know? so, okay. Well, we'll take that little hint and <laughs> we'll go with it. All right. Whatever well, it turns out to be. Yeah, I'll fill you in as a, as the whatever it is progresses. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna cut it off That's here. I love right. you, mom. Okay, well, I love you, too. Have Talk. a blessed day. Thank you. Talk to you next week. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.